three Igbo siblings serving in the U.S. Army. Many Nigerians in diaspora are making us proud, achieving good things and giving us a good name. Many people said it is when they are successful that we remember them. If we don't celebrate them, some people will still say we have forgotten them even as they are successful. People will still talk, so let us celebrate them. Igbos are known to move for businesses. They go to new places because they see opportunities when where some people may not see it. They are born entrepreneurs. Congratulations to them. When they are not doing business, they are successful in other stuff, and that is the case of the Uducha family. The family is originally from Imo State. The father, Dr. Udocha, is a transplant surgeon, liver and kidney, and former chief of transplants at Howard University, Washington, D.C. Working in USA isn't a joke. Working in the medical sector means that you are the best. You are at the best of your ability and at the rate at which they see a standard. Now, formerly working as a chief of transplants in a university, their father was a successful man and the children are already military officers in the United States Army too. They are Lieutenant Chioma Odocha, Lieutenant Tochi Odocha and Captain Kelechi Odocha. Kelechi also plays sports for the Army. They have no doubt brought joy. They are no doubt they brought joy to their family, their parents and we too as Nigerians. They brought uh, pride to the country Nigeria. They are part of the people who make it known that Nigeria is blessed. Why would we not celebrate them? Yes, so celebrate them or let's bob champagne for them. Uh, it's a good thing, it's a good one, but the world will not celebrate them. That's why I always like to bring all this kind of a thing uh, to, 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 the, to the public. It's good that we know all these things because these things, these things are not something that you just see on, you know, um, many people don't even talk about it and it's not even common. Our our mainstream media, conventional media, you will not hear them say all of this is because they believe that mm, they are just whatever. But mm, God help us if it is the other way around. My my goodness, everybody will share it. Everybody will talk about it. Even these ones that are not even Nigerians, they will talk about it. They will say it. But this kind of thing, it won't go. But I always like to bring this kind of a thing to 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 my channel. Most importantly, there was one to there was one man too, or there's a man I don't know I don't know where to put it. This uh, uh the surgeon too that uh, did a transplant or whatever did a, a, a surgery. The man that finished I forgot I'm he told you or something. He's a doctor too. A Yoruba man too. He finished from uh, Ife University of uh, Ife. Then before he now went to the US, that he brought a. A baby from the woman's womb is a fetus. Then, at the end of the day, he put it back, and the, the baby was delivered, and it made a record. It broke record, and people they talked about that that time. But at the end of the day, they still talked about that the man uh, was made a medical chief medical whatever surgeon in one hospital for pediatrician and all of that. I still talk about it. We have a Nigerians that are doing tremendously well. But the problem we have is that if there's any little whatever, the world will start to they will blow it out of proportion. They will blow it out of proportion. But with this kind of a thing, you will not hear it on, on CNN. You will not hear it uh, on BBC. You will not hear it in all those uh, big, big uh, international this Al Jazeera. You will not hear it. But had it been they did one wrong thing in fact uh, they will they will fly everything and it will come to Nigeria. They will start saying, Oh, you see Igbos, they are this and this and that. Igbos this and this and that, this and this and this and that. We need to celebrate people. The Yoruba man too is a the head of a is a surgeon, head of the surgeon, whatever in children clinic in the US too. We are doing tremendously well. You see, you see the uh, the kind of a uh, people we have, our politicians, our the so called leaders, all those ones are they leaders? Those ones are not leaders, they are just they are just there. I, I don't know the name to give to them. They don't appreciate all of these things. They will still go abroad. They will go and meet these people there. I'm talking about uh, when it comes to medical aspects, but this one is just a uh, military stuff. These people now, if you have them in our uh, uh, Nigeria army, we did not contribute to it. They will not even allow them to do anything because, like I said, those who are singing or clamoring for Okunjowala to come, Adwari, Adwari should bring him back. Even if he if she comes back, would they allow them to work 
Will they take the advice? And will they take advice from them? The people, I believe the people we have in our economic team today, they are very, very, very good. They are okay. But do you know the kind of advice they'll be giving to the, the, the federal government? Will they take it? They won't take it. And at the end of the day, the blame will come to them. Everybody was happy that time when they t- told us that uh, uh, Soludo will be part of uh, this economic uh, whatever they constituted that time. Have you, have you, are you hearing from them? Are you hearing from Soludo? Have you, have you heard anything from him? They won't say anything because they will be working at the background. They will be working at background. They will tell them, do this. They will not allow. Even the Amina, the woman Amina to our finance minister. I believe the woman is trying. The woman is trying, but you will not know because they might not allow them to do the needful. They will suggest this thing. I just believe. I just believe, but they will not allow them because we still have Kaba. Those are the people that do not want this country to move forward. So it's unfortunate if uh, we cannot really appreciate our own. And if the foundation is faulty, uh, what do we do? There's nothing we can do. But kudos to these people. They are making Nigeria Nigeria proud. Okay. Someone said there are many now. Why publishing only few? Search for Uche Lucas, John Igwe, Peter Nelson, Dave Chike, Matthias Marcos, Luke, and all of that. They are all serving in U.S. Army and Navy. Oh, hey, Biafra. Yes, since Nigeria Army... Is for Northern. Let we Igbos go to USA to achieve our dreams. Nigeria cannot keep the Igbo spirit of I can do it and excel. What Nigeria rejects because of nepotism and tribalism, Igbo will give them to those that value uh, meritocracy. Pretty. This uh, nucleus of Biafran armed forces. Congratulations. If they were in Nigeria, no matter how brilliant or qualified, they couldn't have made it just because they are Igbos. They must give way for the children of Aousa and Fulani who own DNA. Of course, uh, uh, somebody said uh, if you are in Nigeria, that Nigeria is a destiny killer. They did that, so not even Nigeria, because Nigeria, if you talk of Nigeria, what makes up Nigeria? It is the people. They will so frustrate you that ha, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. If, okay, congratulations to you guys. I'm happy for you. In case you need wife, I'm available. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How many Awusa Fulani can get to this height? Igbos are God's choosing. May God guide, protect, and elevate you greater. We love you. Umune. Great achievements, but acknowledged with a pinch of salt viewed against the background of current racial backlash in Yankee land. Unfortunately, Igbos have no choice. But to adopt Yankee land as their new found home, as there is fire on the mountain in their ancestral home of Nigeria. Outside of all any man from Nigeria can't join USC Army because they are illiterate from the Amajiri background. Many of them are in Nigeria Army because of policies. Hmm. This is absolutely a blessed family from God Almighty himself. Congratulations to the Uducha's family. Kudos to our Biafran gallant officers. I am worry boy Biafras. Okay. I'm happy for them. Happy they are Igbos making our tribe and Nigeria proud. Heroes are in your land, Igbos. The god of Igbos are wonderful. Very proud of them. Soon, half of Igbo population will migrate where you can freely compete without prejudice. Congratulations to my fellow IPOB members. We the Igbo make the difference anywhere we go. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so it's it's, it's it's always good to celebrate people. It's always good to celebrate people. But our leaders, do they celebrate? Do they celebrate us here? No, the reverse is... The answer is no. They don't celebrate. They don't celebrate. They don't even appreciate. All they know is money, 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 money to be carrying themselves big men. Big men don't know what. Other tribes are, are doing tremendously well. The ones we know, we'll still bring it here. There's no... There's nobody that will do the right thing that make that will make Nigeria proud. That we will talk about them, but what I'm just talking in a larger perspective. But if it were to be, if they have done something wrong, the all these uh, international media houses, they will start flaunting it. They will start projecting all those kind of things. You know, is that not a what do they call that? Is it not bad belly? It's bad belly now. It's really bad belly. Okay, if you don't want your career to be ruined, never, never mention Biafra or iPub. 
you can imagine <laughs> so you think uh, the this person okay this this person is a key mustafa you see, these are the bad belly people who will they talk about so they don't know that they are biafrans or even with their name alone <laughs> would they know would they, they don't know don't say this one tonight you will jealousy and every uh continue to worry you a key mustafa too late to suggest that of course, now by their name, they know them now. You think uh, it is in Nigeria that uh, they do tribalism and be doing all of those things. We know that there's a lot of policies being played at that level, but if you if you merit it, they will give it to you. So that is just the way it is. So guys, uh, let us celebrate these people. It's worth celebrating. Let us loud it. Let us share it. Loud it. Loud it. Share it. Share it. Share it to people. Let it get to people. Let people begin to know because if the international media if they don't recognize it let us be pushing this out so that they will see get it leave your comments below guys in the comment section thank you